Athletics player talking to Chairman Simon Connolly. Simon, fans think it's easy running a football club, which we know it's not. And it's not easy to tell someone they've lost a job. No, it's horrible. It's the, uh, the worst part of football for me. I've had to do it a few times. Um, I'd like to say on record that David did nothing wrong at all. Uh, results obviously didn't go for him. We had that period where we drew a lot of games and a few of those could have been wins. And um, he, he took over in extremely hard circumstances. And, um, you know, I, I feel for him. It was very, very tough. He's worked as hard as any manager that we've ever had before. And that applies to both Dino and to Brownie. And it was a shame to have to say goodbye to them. And uh, it's not something I like doing. So you'll have had to think long and hard about his replacement, of course. And uh, you've chose to bring back an old face. Yeah, John's always been high up on our list every time, actually. We've looked at managers and the timing was just right. Um, last year he was still at Plymouth. He did a great job with them. And we look at his record. He, did, he brought Chesterfield up from uh, Division 2. Um, he got, got promotion with... Um, he got us, sorry, he got us into the playoffs when he was here. He got uh, Plymouth into the playoffs last year and built a very strong team. Wherever he, he won the JPT, wherever he's gone, he's done very well. And we're here for a scrap, we know that. It was time to make a change and we feel we've got the right man to come in here, make a difference, um, get the crowd going, get the players going and, and hopefully keep us here. And there's two weeks left in the window, of course. Is there, is there any budget, any scope for John to make signings? Sure. Um, there's always been scope for signings. <laughs> I think we've demonstrated that year on year. Um, John's got a few targets in mind and it won't be easy to bring them all in but we're going to give it a good go. We know that we need three or four players at least and um, I feel that we've still got the base of a, of a decent team or of a decent squad. If we can add those players to what John wants to bring in then we'll be fine, we'll be, we'll be okay. So it's time really now for everybody to get around Oldham Athletic Football Club. We have the new facility, they all know about the new stand. There's been moles, there's been groans. New manager now, let's get behind him and let's get this club moving forward. Yeah, that's, I, I couldn't put any better, Gordon. It's always about that. And this is football. There's ups and downs and we've had good years. And this has not been a good year. Or two, 2015 was not a good year. We know that. And we're not afraid to say as a board that we've made mistakes. We've put our hands up. Certain decisions we made haven't been correct. But if anyone thinks we've done it for anything other than the right reasons and the right motives and they're, they're crazy. I understand the fans' frustration. Um, they're entitled to uh, being entertained. They're entitled to want a winning team. But at the same time, um, you know, I'd like a few of them that are really are giving people a hard time just to scale it back a little bit, not to let it get too personal. Uh, I mean, they can if they want. People can do whatever they want. But it's, it's disappointing when some of the stuff gets said and, and written. Um, it's football. At the end of the day, we all want the same thing. Every single person from top to bottom want the team to do well. And there are 24 teams in this division and they all want the same thing. So hopefully we can, we can get out of it. And we know that we need to regroup next year. I think we're in, we'll be in a great position if we're in this division. And these are exciting times. Apart from the travelling fans, we'll be going to uh, <coughs> Bradford on Saturday. First chance will be against Bury at home, and hopefully there'll be five or six thousand here to celebrate the return of a John Sheridan. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, we have the new facility. We've, we know we've had problems with that as well, but it's up and running. The boxes look great. The, uh, the fans are enjoying what we have there. And it's an, it really is an opportunity for everyone to come together at the same time, be here, create a great atmosphere. And I have no doubt if we get behind this team, we will be able to beat Bury. Simon, and other members of his, uh, the staff left also. Will be John bringing in a, a new backroom team? Yeah, John's got scope to bring in one or two people of his own. He's identified them. It's a case of whether we can get them out of their clubs. But the names he's mentioned to me are great and they'd be a really good addition to this club. And then your own eyes, how does the future look now for Oldham Athletic? future looks good. We clearly need to stay, retain our Division 1 status. That is important to us. If the worst comes to the worst and we were to get relegated, I think we've got the right man to bring us back up. But I'm not looking there. I really feel that there's a long way to go. There's 22 games that we've still got to play. It's a lot of points. It's a long time. And I, I'm feeling confident. I think this squad has more ability than, than perhaps we give them credit for. And as I mentioned earlier in the interview, if we add three or four players, we'll be, we'll be OK. Off the field, things are also happening, which are good. The stand's going to make a huge difference next year. Uh, not just in terms of the, the financial status of, of the club, but also the facilities, the look, the overall feeling that it gives to us. And, um, you know, we, at the end of the day, we own the ground. 
it, we, everything is in our own hands and that's very important you look at a lot of clubs and they don't have what we have so finally John will be taking charge of training on Thursday morning for the first time yep I'm looking forward to seeing it so thank you Simon